Hello friends. Uh, in last class, we uh, started the introduction to the metallic nanoparticles. In uh, lecture second, let us take some insight into the gold nano particles. Gold nano. There are uh, the number of uh, metallic nanoparticles, those having the, the plenty of applications in science and uh, technology. The metallic nanoparticles are having truly interdisciplinary applications in engineering and technology, in uh, chemical industries, in medical, drug delivery and uh, uh, some others. The gold nanoparticles are the, um, studied since uh, uh, hundreds and hundreds of years and they are having lot of applications from the medieval era. These are the gold nanoparticles are so these are all highly explored highly explored highly explored the nanoparticles nanostructures nanostructures Highly explored nanostructures. So then, since the the many centuries, so in the, the olden days, in olden days we know that we understood the gold nanoparticles in the introduction of nanomaterial <coughs> chapter. We already the understood this, so that the gold nanoparticles are are um, used to decorate. Decorate windows, okay. Windows of churches. They are used coloring the coloring the cups. Okay. So that here there are they are used to color the cups, and also these are so many artists. Artists, favorite it is favorite. The, the, the gold nanoparticles are there. So since uh, in the 1857, okay, the first first scientific scientific approach. approach for the study of uh, the gold nanoparticle started so that it started with the michael faraday so um, how that uh, produced the gold colloid after that uh, the many people studied the gold nano uh, particles they try to prepare with the various method so, um, this is the gold nanoparticles are, are having the applications in almost all the dimensions of uh, science and uh, technology we know that the bulk gold is bulk gold is bulk, bulk gold is uh, this is a soft metal soft metal soft metal and uh, so that that gives our cues are scatter yellow shines with yellow colors shines with with yellow color 
कलर शाइन्स विथ येलो कलर केमिकली इनर्ट केमिकली इनर्ट सो दैट दिस इज द प्रीशियस मेटल इट इज इट इज इट केमिकली इनर्ट मीन्स इट विल नॉट रिएक्ट विथ द any metal it will hard to form the oxide all this so that as the we know that iron when put in the the open environment that going to um, corrode rust what is rust rusting that become oxides of that particular metal so for this it is not easy so that this is chemically inert so its melting point is melting point melting point it is uh, 1064 degree centigrade 1000 degrees 64 degree centigrade and uh, it is the good conductor good conductor conductor of heat and electricity heat and electricity good conductor of heat and this is the precious metal okay so and uh, in the one in the one the uh, the characteristic of gold is it uh, reflects it reflect it reflect infrared radiations it it reflect in infrared radiations these are all some characteristics of bulk gold then what happens in case of the nano gold let us so that when convert into nano so what are all the characteristics of the gold are changing okay so then in detail let us go for the nano gold nano gold so that the nano gold or gold nano structures gold nano structures are given in the form of nano particle nano particle and nano wire nano wire and nano films films okay so that uh, all that gives size 1 to 100 nano meter 1 to 100 nano meter so at least in the one dimension so that particle having in all three dimension the size is 1 to 100 nano meter nano wire so that in this case so two dimensions are in 1 to 100 nano meter in case of nano films so that one dimension is 1 to 100 nano meter other dimension is larger than going larger than nano okay so that this is here how to synthesis so that method of synthesis so that gold is synthesis in size uh synthesized by physical method physical method chemical method so that in chemical there is is a the green synthesis method also in case of a physical method so that that we have the laser ablation laser ablation okay so that molecular b epitoxy so that we can so there are some any uh, some other methods so we can uh, prepare the synthesis uh this is the some other vapor methods are there by which uh, physical vapor method we can uh, synthesize the nanomaterial in chemical method it is so uh, using the chloro auric acid so that the chloro auric acid is red reduced by some the reducing agent agents and the formation of the um, uh, 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 gold ion takes place usually 
so fold ion a u 3 plus plus 3 taking place similarly in case of uh, the green synthesis okay again the uh, this chlorouric acid is uh, uh, mixed with uh, some uh, the plant extracts so plant extracts plant extracts like uh, uh, one uh, the plant extract uh, hygrophila spinosa hygrophila 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 spinosa so this is the the biological name so usually in Canada we call this as Basavana Pada so that Basavana Pada in North Karnataka we call this as Basavana and another one the Hindi Gokshara so that we call this as Gokshara this is one the one of the the many uh, plant extracts so used to uh, the uh, for the green synthesis using chlorauric acid when we uh, get the the um, reduce the uh, chlorauric acid some any taking some uh, reducing agents okay reducing agents uh, yeah, or uh, some the, those are some salts like that then what happens this uh, the the uh, gold uh, ions converted into neutral gold then they convert into neutral gold neutral gold then this neutral gold made to aggregate this neutral gold is made to made to aggregate 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 so that they are made to aggregate and to form to form to form nano particle nano particle so that like this there are the many method physical chemical green like that green synthesis okay so that uh, from which so the, the, using chemical and green method we within 10 15 minutes we can produce the nano particle so the atoms produced in the in the solution there are the many solvents uh, like uh, some the organic solvents and as well as uh, the water in that in that uh, the we get the uh, the solution of uh, um, gold uh, gold atoms and they are neutralized using some salts okay and these gold, the neutral gold atoms are made to aggregate and to form the nanoparticle that but one important thing is after forming the nanoparticle how to define the size so that the, uh, the to, to define the size so the size at a to define the size then here for the size yeah, this is by adding adding some capping agents capping agents capping in what are the what are what are those capping agents some polymers polymers small small molecules molecules so that uh, these are all used to cover or they form the shell to the nano gold when at a particular uh, stage of formation of aggregate or formation of nanoparticle or growth of nanoparticle aggregating of, of nanoparticles so that uh, the um, using some capping agents we can so restrict the we can control the size of nanoparticle the also this is au the gold nanoparticles become so that turn turn 
spherical spherical by use of by the use of some salts some salts using some salts so we can also uh, the uh, uh, the the we can also the, the this is make the gold nanoparticle in the the in circular shape spherical shape usually normally so that using the the salts or uh, the or the other all the also the residual reducing agent and normally adding the more and more salt this is the this nanoparticle goes the become spherical okay now then then the um, in uh, the optical properties if we come to the optical properties of nanoparticles so when the nanoparticle size size nanoparticle size less than less than 20 nanometer 30 nanometer these nanoparticles they usually absorb they absorb 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 so blue green blue green spectra spectra and reflect reflect what red refract red means means reddish so that the higher wavelength the usually it, the lower wavelength like blue and green spectra are absorbed by the nanoparticle and reflect the reddish yellow red like that reddish move towards uh, the red shift so for that purpose those particles which are less than 30 nanometers they appear red in color okay the gold nanoparticles okay. then so that similarly the particle as the size increases size increase increase the size increase the size if the size is increased then what happens so the slowly the the size is when size increases then what happens the the particle absorb the size increase let us write at this place so increase in size size okay so that uh, greater than 30 nanometer nanometer then what happens absorb absorb so um, red and yellow spectra spectra and and transmit transmit or reflect reflect bluish color blue green spectrum or color okay blue green spectrum here so in this case what happens usually the the nanoparticles the greater than larger nanoparticles so absorb red and blue, yellow spectra so the the remaining color this is the, the just like uh, the any colored glass that gives the uh, that particular color for example blue color glass what happens when you see the sunlight from the blue color glass that uh, the whole world appear blue why so that in such cases that particular glass uh, absorb all the color and transmits or reflect blue color so that when you see the blue color glass the reflected light from that glass goes to your eyes hence uh, the glass appear blue and look through the blue color glass so blue color transmits through that so for that purpose whole world appear blue so that is depending on the color of the glass is depending upon 
so that the light which reflect from that is it right so similarly in case of the th the, the nanoparticle less than 10 nanometer if it is present inside the inside the solution the, usually normally the nanomaterials are the, the metallic nanomaterials uh, nanoparticles are in the colloidal form in the solution so in case of intense cell 30 nanometer so what happens they absorb blue the green spectra and reflect the that so for that purpose the the gold nanoparticle normally we take the smaller the the nanoparticles for the better and better applications so uh, commonly we call the nanoparticle gold nanoparticles are red in color okay this is the less than this is blue then if we go, go to the the increase size greater than 39 we keep on increase in such cases what happens they absorb red and yellow spectra and they transmit uh, or reflect blue uh, reflect blue and green uh, spectra so that for that purpose slowly the that convert into that turn into the 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 blue green the spectra well so size is size of uh, nanoparticle gold nanoparticle is greater than 100 nanometer then what happens so that this absorb absorb nanoparticle absorb absorb uh, what is the ir radiation ir radiation those are invisible radiation and so reflect reflect all visible spectrum okay so that we know that we know that then the sunlight contains all seven color all visible spectra then what is so what is the color of sunlight this is whitish or uh, what you call the usually transparent so for that purpose so when the gold nanoparticle above 100 nanometer absorb ir radiation and transmit or reflect in the solution so that visible spectrum so that those the nanoparticles are appear those those uh, the collides or colloidal solutions appear uh, mostly transparent means translucent uh, the color understood so that here this is there are uh, if you go through the the, the nano nano uh, co colloidal nanoparticles of gold, then what happens uh, in the internet in, in the Google? If you search a Google, then so that you can get the in number of bottles gold nanoparticles. Okay, so that uh, so these the collides here you are getting the structure of uh, the, the sorry nanoparticles of different sizes okay you find that here yes, smaller to larger smaller to larger so that color red to color uh, what happens small 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 is uh, the yeah reddish and larger is towards uh, blue like this so just try in the internet go to the google and the search for the gold nanoparticle uh, gold collides you get uh, the picture now so let us take the the uh, the what are the applications 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 of gold nanoparticles what are the applications of gold nanoparticles so that there are i i said in the almost all the uh, dimensions of science and technology so that these are all the, the gold the nanoparticles are having they are the applications so the first let us strike in case of electronics we know that gold is the very good conductor okay so that so what happens when 
the for the flow of current usually from one place to another place or some uh, to the wire connect we connect the wire one with the other so that that connection should be the proper then only current flows so for that purpose in case of the any electronic circuit any electronic circuit usually we know that so that electronic circuit in a pcb design all these the those are all already miniature nowadays what happens so that uh, the small is beautiful like that the 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 electronic structure more and structures more and more the smaller microstructure nanostructure so that uh, we are getting so for that purpose we the 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 the, the connecting the circuit uh, is uh, connecting the components uh, in the circuit is uh, uh, is very important okay so for that purpose so in such cases the gold nanoparticles are the much much useful okay um, this is here the, having the in electrons it, it having the application from printable ink ink so into printable into electronic chip okay microchip micro chip so that they having the lot of uh, the applications okay so here so this is useful in chip design okay so that they having application chip design so this is used for ohmic contact ohmic contact means so that it is connect to connect resistors resistors okay transistors diodes the yours capacitors there are many electronic the microcontrollers what we say the, the for the connection so we use the gold nano particles now second one let us take second application in case of photodynamic therapy photodynamic therapy so that is used in case of a photodynamic therapy here what is this photodynamic therapy usually the uh, this type of therapy is used in case of the exploding the tumors present in the body so in this case usually what happens we know that the gold nano particles nano shells or nano rods gold nano rods those are what happens uh, ir absorbing usually is there so ir absorbing ir means infrared radiation absorbing absorbing nano gold nano structures gold nano nano structures nano structures are used nano structures are used here in this case so what happens so here uh, these the nano structures absorb 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 wavelengths wavelengths 700 nanometer to 800 nanometer 800 nanometer and produce heat produce heat so that here in this case usually in case of when when nanoparticle in connection connection with tumor okay connection with the tumor made to made to 
heat. Okay, so that will connection eight. So the made to first made to absorb this wavelength seven hundred to eight hundred, and again that get heated. So, so at this temperature, temperature tumor, tumor bursts. So that it will burst. So that like this, uh, the we kill the tumor cells, and this, it this treatment what we call hyperthermia. This therapy is called hyperthermia. Photodynamic hyperthermia. Hyperthermia. We call this as hyperthermia. Okay. Hyperthermia therapy. Now, let us next next consider the next application. One is next one is next one is therapeutic agent delivery. Therapeutic. Thera. Biotech agent agent delivery. What is this therapeutic agent? This is therapeutic agent is a, a form of the medical treatment. Our therapeutic agent is the is also a drug that is the delivered uh, to the uh, the director the, the delivered to the places where it should be treated. For example, in case of cancer, all these it uh, helps. Okay, so that these are this the, 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 the therapeutic agent means this is the small nano size medicine. Okay, nano size medicines which are attached to the attached to the gold nanoparticle because the gold having the large surface to volume ratio so for that purpose it is it having uh, now we know that the about the dangling bond all this the gold nanoparticles also having dang, dangling bond and uh, those are unsatisfied bond, bonds and they can attract the these are therapeutic agent so that therapeutic agents the attaches to the the gold nanoparticles okay So, uh, understood. So that here some large surface to volume ratio, volume ratio of gold nanoparticle. Okay, so gold nanoparticle. What happens? Enables, enables. So that therapeutic agents. This therapeutic, therapeutic agent, agents, agents to attach, attach on surface. On surface, surface are delivered or delivered. Okay, so usually, so what are these? Next, let us go for what are sensors. These the gold nano particles are. Used as the sensors, the sensors, sensors. So that uh, there are the many uh, sensors like this gold nanoparticles here. It is used as uh, the bio sensors, sensors. Okay. And these are 
so to so identify the identify the the proteins proteins dna to study the proteins and dnas uh, etc okay so that there is a um, the sensor called colorimetric sensor colorimetric sensor so that this colorimetric sensor so you it can be used to um, so that uh, the quality of the quality of food it is used to the the for the know the quality or study the quality whether it is uh, so suitable for consumption or not so like for that uh, this sensor is uh, used okay so that in uh, the surface enhance raman spectroscopy it is used in, in case of a surface enhance enhance raman spectroscopy spectroscopy it is used in in case of surface enhanced raman spectroscopy here what happened what is this uh, surface enhanced is the uh, we, you, we know that the raman effect so raman effect uh, in this is the light scattered from the water all these so about that the we you studied the raman spectrum then what happens here the the light which is scattered from different mole, uh, the molecules are different so usually the this raman spectra raman spectroscopy is uh, mainly studied for the organic chemistry organic to study the organic molecules so that this the uh, this one here in case of the gold nanoparticles used um, as the substrate to enable the measurement of the vibrational energy of the chemical bonds usually the raman spectra is the studied for the molecular spectroscopy okay so that in molecular spectroscopy what happens so when the certain amount of light is the focus or incident on the the molecule organic molecules or any other molecule so usually the vibration um, uh, we get the the uh, harmonic oscillations okay in the bonding so that uh, oscillations are the studied um, for the particular uh, chemical bonds so that these are all this is, is uh, the vibrational spectra or vibrational energies okay so that uh, in such cases to study the vibrational the the chemical bonds so the uh, what happens the nanoparticles are used 